here we are today. I'm actually talking to you from the workshop. So I'm inside the workshop. Thought we'd do something a bit different today. Today I'm actually going to walk you around and show you some of the projects that we've got going on here. Uh, some of the customers' cars, some of the things that we're actually doing. But I thought I'd start off with showing you our new mezzanine floor. How's that? We've got a new mezzanine floor that we've just put in here. We're all sort of sandwiched in here like sardines at the moment. And uh, we built this new area to turn around and assemble all of our cooler kits that we do. And as mentioned, we'll go through all the different project vehicles. At the moment, I've got a team down here actually filming. Uh, so we'll go down, we'll have a chat with them. All the different vehicles that are here, we're gonna go around and have a quick look at them all and just see what we're doing for each one of them. And uh, I'll tell you what, if you stay to the end of the video, we're doing a bit of a giveaway. So hang around and I'll get to that right near the very end. So let me run down these steps and we'll start getting on. This mezzanine floor that we built, it's only been in for a week. It's all brand new, put all the new lighting in. This is actually the area that we actually strip all the transmissions. Behind there, we've got our uh, machine shop, which we've just been basically redesigning. We've got a, a new lathe, which is actually in there. All our brand new lathe. We've got a mill going in next to it. Right now, I'm actually down here. This is the current model 200 series. It's one of our customers, uh, gracious to lend us to him. The boys are actually filming at the moment, as you can see. And um, what are they filming? They're actually filming how to install. This is Jono and his hey, sidekick Craig over here. Actually, Craig will be the one that edits this video at the end of the day as well. And the boys are actually filming uh, an install guide, how to install. In actual fact, this is the new lockup kit that we've been waiting for for the last, what, three years? Three years, all right? Well, what do you reckon? We're gonna let the, the cat out of the bag and tell them what the name is? Uh, we've gotta let them know? I can tell you, but you know, then I'd have to do something else. Do something else? Well, it's gonna be the new Nomad lockup kit, all right? So we've branded it as our own. So the boys are actually filming the how-to guide, how to install it. And from that, they're actually going to do the, the paperback version, which is the fitting instructions on how to do the new lockup kit. Um, so the new lockup kit, the new Butte one, all automatic, all electronic, with all the bells and whistles, be ready. I think by, if I say next month, it'll be ready by next week. I no, it'll be pretty close. In, next month. Okay. Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> what do we got here? Here, we got yet another... Y62, unfortunately, she's bitten the dust, this one. This is another Y62 that unfortunately has overheated itself. This one wasn't even towing, poor bugger. They've actually had to drag it back from the middle of the Cape. They actually towed it all the way down from the, the Cape so we could actually do a rebuild, do all the upgrades on. We do a heavy duty valve body, we'll turn it around. Oh, actually, no, we don't do the heavy duty valve body in this one. We do the, the deep cast aluminium pan and we're certainly going to be putting the big dual cooler on it to make sure this doesn't happen again. And you wouldn't believe it. Him and his mate that's actually got a 200 series, he overheated as well. Both of them were actually in sand at the same time, um, going along one of the big beaches there. And unfortunately, this one come unstuck very, very quickly, the poor bugger. So we'll get him up and running with a, with a fully reconditioned auto. What have we got? Uh, what is it, NT Bajero, she's in for a rebuild. <coughs> Another 79 series, this one. This is actually one of our very first early ones. This is actually, <laughs> this is where it all started with these auto conversions. This one's about 10 years old thereabouts. And it's got a very first, look at that. You wouldn't believe how far we've come. That's the early four speed. When we very originally did a four speed auto, this one's actually in for a service today. Uh, it's good to see customers coming back to get their cars serviced. Uh, 200 series, <coughs> another 200 series. This one's in um, getting a cooler fitted. Can't see it, but it's way up there in the grill. It's got a big dual cooler being fitted to this one. <coughs> so we're going along. Uh, this is another, this is a single cab 79 series. This one we've just done the uh, auto conversion on. And you can actually see the big difference in the console. Big difference, still got lots of plastics and feet things in that. So that one will be leaving here pretty soon. 
So move around to the next project. These those doors never shut properly on the 79 series when the window. If you own a 79 series and you have trouble shutting the door, you wind the window down a little bit and all of a sudden the door will slam. It just shows you how airtight those 79 series are. What do we got here? We got a Hilux. You, this one's actually in for a transmission service. So she's getting done. Got a brand new filter on it already. And I know this one's in for a big oil cooler as well. So we'll keep moving around. <coughs> Get going. This is the dispatch area. This is actually one of our um, heavy duty. This is a uh, TB48 Auto. It's going out. It's one of our heavy duty ones that we do with our heavy duty Nomad valve body, the deep cast aluminium pan. We actually cryogenically treat all the internals on them and that as well. We actually do a great deal with these things now. Um, <coughs> dispatch area with all the parcels getting ready to go. There's Jeff over in the corner over there. We'll head outside. I've got a couple of things to show you outside. Another conversion, I'll try and stay out of the sun here. It's a little bit losing my voice. <coughs> I'm looking like a bloody hippie at the moment because what are we in lockdown down here for about, I think we're up to about 230 days that Victoria has been locked down over the last 18 months and it's not getting any better at the moment. I've got a Land Rover. This is a Land Rover for those Land Rover people. A Land Rover 110. And this one's actually in to get an auto conversion. We're actually fitting a four-speed auto to that. Um, I'm not sure if anybody's been introduced to the new Triton. We actually bought that straight after we did Ute of the Year. Not last year, the year before. We liked it so much that we actually bought the Triton. This is my current Hilux that I'm driving at the moment. We're doing a bit of development work on the Hilux as well. We just put the heavy duty Nomad valve body in this. We just turned around and put the big oil cooler in it and that. We've still got a few more things. We're actually developing the new lockup kit to suit this at the moment as well. You wouldn't believe it. I'll sneak in here next to the wall. I have had this car for less than 30 days and already managed to put a stonking great dent in the thing. I'm renovating a home and I actually had a door up against the side of the garage and of course the wife turned around and said you should move that door the wind will catch it and blow it onto your car and what did i say oh she'll be right bloody wife's right again it's annoying i hope she doesn't see this video either she won't let me down <laughs> oh look stuart's got his um stew dog's got his his nissan in at the moment she's in here getting a bit of low god this girl's seen some damage as well you thought mine was bad i think Stuart treats his just as badly. Look at all the dents and all the bits, all the pinstripes. Look, you've got so many pinstripes that they basically join together on this thing. All the way around. He adores this car and he cheats because he's got his little, two little latches and bang, that's it. His tent's already set up. Uh, we've got a big F250 in, big giant girl. She's in, she's actually in for a, um, a rebuild on the transmission as well on this. We actually get a few of these. They're a good auto. They've got a few problems, but we actually do a heavy-duty version of all the F-Series uh, four-speed oil, all the 7.6-litre the engine. And I'll get out of this sun a little bit. A bit bright. Here we go. And um, so we're doing an overhaul. Stewie's still got one of the, uh, the MN Tritons here. And this is actually his everyday car. He loves this Triton. And he gets around with it and that. And he gets around everywhere. Now, look at this. You wanna know how old auto is? Look at this thing. You wouldn't touch it. You'd be too scared to touch it. But I tell you what, the local birds that you can hear behind me love pecking the pecking the, the stuffing out of it and they run off and they build nests with it. At the moment, we are in lockdown here in Victoria, so we are restricted. This is our front entrance to the shop and no entry. Due to COVID, all of our retail sales are basically out the windows. No one can actually come and visit us. We've barricaded the door. You've got sanitizer, you've got to leave keys here just for the customers, like the trade customers can still drop off some stuff. But we have no contact. We have a big chain that's normally up and across, but I've actually turned around and taken it down just so we could, um, I could run it in and out of the building at the moment. <laughs> Let's go in the rebuild room. I'll show you what the, some of the things they do in the rebuild room. We're in here with the boys. James, James working as hard as ever. Daniel, Daniel works quite hard. 
James will struggle with a little bit. So this is some of the rebuilds that they do. So they've got the transmission stripped out. They actually strip them outside. They go through the um, all the hot wash and everything and they actually bring them in here. And this is where they actually build them all up into, into sections. Daniel's doing a very similar thing. He's getting ready to do one of his. It's almost ready for a paint job, I think, on that one. We'll go down. We've got the other end. <coughs> this is the room where we've got all the all the job boards in and whatnot. I'll quickly go outside and I'll tell you what's going on with the 79 series. I still don't have my big girl back. We're waiting for the uh, canopy to be repaired. Everything else is basically done, but it's actually stalled until we get it back. When we get it back, then we're gonna pull the turbo off. We're still gonna pull the front of the car off, get all the coolers, everything in the coolers out, everything out so we can turn around and clean all those seeds and bits and pieces out of. Um, we talked about a brand new car. I don't know, most of you would probably know by now that there's a restriction. Toyota's basically closed down uh, some of their plants in Japan for several weeks. And if you want a brand new 79 series, what used to be a 12 month wait last month is quickly turning into an 18 month late, probably in the next two months. Like they're falling that far behind so my new project of a new car, and I thought, oh, I'll go and buy um, one online. Maybe someone's got one out there that's less than a year old. No, you cannot buy a 79 series anywhere. You know, that's probably the case with many cars, but the 79 series, you just cannot buy them anywhere. And I thought, all right then, and why the big deal? Why the new project? I can turn around and do a new development project and everything with the 79 series. Well, I wanted to put portal axles, and I originally wanted to put portal axles in my 79, the dual cap. The reason why I can't do that is because in Victoria anyway, you can't legally um, engineer the portals once the car is registered. A brand new car, you can engineer it and have it legal. But if the car is already registered and you put the exact same kit in, Victoria doesn't we are, it's struggling to recognise it. I know that the chaps at Mark's Four Wheel Drive, they do a great job. They're trying to rectify this, but they probably have weeks and months ahead of them trying to do this, if it'll happen. So all the best, we give them all the encouragement to try and get through this. But if I wanted to put portals on a car, I had to buy a brand new car. And that's one of the reasons why I was gonna buy a 79 series. I was gonna do that. I was gonna buy a single cab, try and get a bit more weight distributed put bigger tyres on, do everything that I wanted to do. But I can't buy the car. And I can't put pedals, I uh, can't put portals in my current one because Victoria you know, Engineering, even though it's exactly the same kit, federal says yes, state says no. I know, it's all starting to sound like a political thing. If you think it's a political thing, tell us what your thoughts are in the statements below. Now, as for our competition, well, it's not even a competition really, but we're going to attach a bit of a form here. Um, jump on it, put your details in it. We're going to give away 50 prize packs. Now that's 50 randomly picked prize packs. And I'll show you what those prize packs are. Allow me to run through the building and I'll go out the front. So if you've got kids or you are a big kid, all right, we have 50 sets. With well, these 50 sets, you get, look at that, a dual cab plush poi ute, uh, which is mine. Look, Stu Dogs, got his own, that right? GU Patrol. And then buried down underneath this somewhere, there is our Ask Auto plush toys. Just let me get a few of these out of the way so I can get down to the bottom. To see when these guys packed this in, they evenly packed them and made sure that there was Ask Auto dolls towards the top. I found one, actually I found three. So, if you enter into the composition, please do so. You'll get three toys as each prize. We're gonna give away, how many did I just say? 25, correct me if I didn't, of these prizes and uh, you get three toys in each one of them, all right? So like, subscribe, and um, yeah, get in there, join the competition, 
and we'll see you next time.